Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. The plan, the basic plan for today was to do a video to talk about the set Stanley Cup final. But then these guys, the Dallas Stars, came up and won not only game four, also game five. So we will have a game six and it will be held tomorrow night my time. So I cannot talk about the setup for the Stanley Cup final and uh, why I will cheer for the Florida Panthers in the Stanley Cup final. I have to come up with something else, but something happened yesterday. Because yesterday was the final day, day game 34 in the Bundesliga, the German football slash soccer league. I will from this point on refer to it as football. Sorry, if you want, to, want me to say soccer, I will say football. It's, I mean the same sport. Okay, uh, where was I? Yeah, the last day, day 34 of the Bundesliga. The situation was Borussia Dortmund was two points ahead of the FC Bayern, but the FC Bayern had the better goal differential. So Dortmund had to win to assure their, them being national champions and Bayern had to win themselves and hope that Dortmund doesn't win, which would make the FC Bayern national champions. And the unthinkable happened. Dortmund blew it. They were down 2-0 in the first half against Mainz. The game ended 2-all. They ended up with uh, 71 points and a goal differential, which is the first tiebreaker in the Bundesliga, of plus 39. The FC Bayern made it uh, really interesting as well. They were up 1-0 in the first half, then scored a goal that was not allowed. Then started to play bad again and yeah, they got the equalizer scored on them, so it was 1-1. Two minutes prior to the end, when Jamal Musiala scored the game winner, the FC Bayern won 2 to 1, ended up with 71 points as well, and a goal differential of plus 54. So they are once again the champions of the Bundesliga, as uh, yeah, in all European football, almost all European football leagues, you just play each team twice, and who has the most points? So a win gives you three points, a draw gives you one point, a loss, of course, no points. Who has the most points in the end of the year is the champion. There are no playoffs. Would it be good to introduce playoffs in football? I can make some thoughts about that. But what I really wanted to talk about today is, yeah, the FC Bayern Football Club is now national champion in the Bundesliga 11 years in a row. So let's have a look at these 11 years of the FC Bayern being national champion. And... I took out my board again. It was already filled with Florida Panthers. <laughs> okay, I erased it all and brought up this board. So, the FC Bayern München. Let's start off with the first year they were champions of 11 in a row. It was 2012-2013 as 2011-2012, uh, the last time someone else was national champion and this was Borussia Dortmund. In 2012-2013, the year they played under their coach, Jupp Heynckes, fantastic man. Dortmund came in second and they were down by 25 points. So there was no tension in the late phases of the season. The FC Bayern was so well above everybody else. Yeah. And this is, of course, the year they also won the National Cup and the Champions League. And as mentioned, the National Championship with 25 points ahead of Dortmund. In 2013-2014, this was the first year of the Pep Guardiola area. He stayed with the FC Bayern for three years before going to Manchester. 2013-2014, second was also Borussia Dortmund, down by 19 points. And I remember this was a fantastic season where the FC Bayern also achieved something that hadn't been there before. They scored more than 90 points altogether. Fantastic effort, fantastic team, great season. 2014-2015, a new runner-up came up. Runner-up came up. <laughs> so the runner-up was Wolfsburg, 10 points behind the FC Bayern. The, the coach at this time, also Pep Guardiola. In 2015-2016, uh, the last season under Pep Guardiola, Dortmund was back to second, also 10 points down of the FC Bayern. Yeah, the... Advantage over the second place team, pretty big, so no tension in the last day of the season. But yeah, the FC Bayern was national champion and everybody was happy. In 2016-2017 then, a new contender came up. 
it is uh, RB Leipzig or Red Bull Leipzig. Yeah, this club is basically owned by Red Bull. Yeah, the guys with the small cans, drinks, energy drinks, so on, you know them. Anyway, they were second in the 2016-2017 season, 15 points behind the FC Bayern, so no tension again in the final days of the season. The new coach of the FC Bayern was Carlo Ancelotti, the man from Italy, who is right now coaching Real Madrid. In 2017-2018 then, the new second place team was Schalke 04. They were 21 points behind the FC Bayern, so no tension for quite some time. And yeah, this was, I think, because of uh, a pretty weak season by the Bundesliga in general. And yeah, the FC Bayern pulled the plug in time from their coaches. First there was yeah, Carlo Ancelotti, who they started their season with. He was then replaced by an interim coach, Willi Sagnol, former player of the FC Bayern. And in the end, Jupp Heynckes took over again and led the team to the promised land to a sovereign, great ending of the season. Fantastic play by 21 points ahead of the second place team. In 2018-2019, a new coach was installed because of uh, Jupp Heynckes said, I'm 70 years of age now, I am retiring. The CEO, uh, no, the general manager at this time, Uli Hoeneß, said that yeah, he would try to convince Jupp Heynckes to come back, to stay the coach. It didn't work and it led to the FC Bayern going with Niko Kovac, also a former player of the FC Bayern, as their new coach. Dortmund came in the se second again, but the difference was only two points in 2018-2019. So the, the bosses, of course, were not happy. Oh, we have only two points ahead of the second place team. And I remember this final day of the season, day 34, and the FC Bayern had a home game. They won 5-1 to one against the former club of Nico Kovac, Eintracht Frankfurt, and celebrated their championship at home, which was pretty nice to see. It hadn't happened for quite a while. The FC Bayern as national champions, two points ahead of Dortmund. But the unhappiness with the coach started right again in the next season, 2019-2020. Uh, Niko Kovac was fired pretty quickly and was replaced by Hansi Flick, who is right now the coach of the German football national team. In the end, they, were, they ended 13 points ahead of Dortmund, so again, no tension at all. In the Covid playoffs, the FC Bayern later on won as well the Champions League, they won the National Cup. And everything was fine and perfect again. Then in 2020-2021, Hansi Flick again as the coach. They didn't win the Champions League this year, but they were national champion 13 points ahead of Red Bull Leipzig. Very sovereign season, pretty good playing. Yeah, everything was good, everything was happy, except the GM at this time, whose name uh, at the, then was Hassan Salihamidzic, he decided, okay, Hansi Flick and I, we do not have this good of a relationship, and they decided not to extend the contract of Hansi Flick. Instead, he went to the DFB, so the National Football Association, and became the national coach. And the FC Bayern needed a new coach, so they got Julian Nagelsmann. They gave him a five-year contract, wanted to build up something special in this era. The first year was pretty good, 21-22. Again, national champion, eight points ahead of Dortmund, so so again, no tension in the last two days of playing. Julian Nagelsmann at the coach, everything looked okay. Maybe not on the deeper look, but at the top level, at the level there, yeah, national champion, good play, that's all fine. Finally then this year, 2022-2023, as described, second place Borussia Dortmund, they blew it, they were in the lead after 33 days. On day 34, they blew it, only a draw against Mainz and FC Bayern, won by a goal from Jamal Musiala in the late stages of the game, 2-1, and became the national champion again, on points equal to Dortmund. And, as mentioned, if points cannot decide the ladder of the league, then the goal differential has to hold, and Bayern was 15 goals ahead of Borussia Dortmund. 
That's why they are the national champion. The coaching, yeah, Julian Nagelsmann was in charge for most of the season, but he got fired in mid-March, early April, something like that, and replaced by Thomas Tuchel. Let's see how this will turn out, if he will stay, because the Bayern, the FC Bayern, celebrated their 11th national championship in a row by, uh, yeah, yesterday, firing the CEO and the GM. It's, I think, totally mad to not give these guys a little more time to settle and to grow into their roles. They don't work right out, out of the gate, so goodbye, here we go. And I definitely think that this impacted the party the team had yesterday because, and also the coach because they all were hired by the GM, Hassan Salihamidzic, and the CEO, Oliver Kahn, who I think did not do the worst job. They could have been better, yeah, sure, but give them time to grow into their role, what the FC Bayern does not do. Let's see what happens next year if Tuchel, who is really a very good coach, if he decides to stick around or he just says, hey, I came here because of these guys who are now gone, maybe he walks away too, and then everything would uh, be, yeah, not down to ashes, but uh, they would definitely have some work to do. Let's see what they would do out of that. But I think Tuchel will stick around. He will, I think Tuchel will definitely have a say in who will become the next GM with whom he wants to work. If he sticks around, I really hope he sticks around. And about the CEO, yeah, there's one name around, the former CFO of uh, the FC Bayern, whose contract expires uh, July 1st. He should become the new CEO. Let's see what happens there. And if this series of 11 national championships will be extended to 12 next year, and how the coaching role will managing how the coaching role will look like, who the new GM will be, and what else will happen, and if the FC Bayern does offer another chance to someone else to become the national champion. Because if you look, if you have a look at the point differences, there were only two occasions in the last eleven years where someone else had a chance to become the national champion. This was Dortmund in twenty nineteen and Dortmund again this year twenty twenty three. All the other years were so great. And by the FC Bayern and the others, yeah, they basically didn't have a chance. Let's see if tension comes back into the Bundesliga or if the FC Bayern takes it to a new level once again. All right, that's it for this one. I hope you liked this backup of a video. <laughs> Sorry, can't say anything else. It was not planned to do that today, but yeah, I just had to come up with something and I thought this was not be, would not be a bad idea and the timing, I think, is not the worst either. So, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about the FC Bayern, the Bundesliga and their series of 11 national championships in a row. See you soon with uh, more stuff about Munich. There is one FC Bayern video coming up. I will, I plan to visit their training grounds, a video that was requested for quite some time. And finally, I will have some time to do this next week. And yeah, I hope this will be good. Thank you once again for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.